My name is Dick Bowers with Enviroline Company. We represent Myers uh, submersible pumps. We cover Kansas and the state of Missouri. Back in April of 2015, uh, I found out that the city of St. Elizabeth, Missouri put in a uh, pressure sewer system back in 2012 and that they were using positive displacement pumps. So I set up a meeting with them at their um, April 2015 uh, council meeting, met with the council and uh, kind of showed what we do and to find out what uh, issues they were having, if any, with the pumps that they had installed. And I found out that they were having a lot of issues uh, in three years. They installed 160 pumps originally, and in three years they'd replaced numerous pumps, especially at some of their duplex stations around town. So uh, I showed them a few things about their pump that they didn't know. Number one, I asked them if they knew what this was. Uh, none of them knew what this was. This is a uh, stator from a positive displacement pump. The way this pump operates, this shaft turns inside of this stator and the spiral on this shaft, as well as the spiral inside this stator, produces a small cavity where the wastewater can go through. Because of the tight fit in here, it's very limited on the volume that this pump can pump. Also, if this rubber stator has any kind of wear to it at all, this pump will not pump any longer. There are numerous reasons why this stator could wear. Um, with a power failure, and your lower head, all the pumps will come on when the power comes back on. Your lower head pumps will pump out first. The higher head pumps will sit there and run until the pressure goes down where they can pump. During that time, the shaft is spinning and the water will evaporate in here and score this rubber stator and it will not pump any longer. Other items, piece of grit getting in here, some petroleum product will also cause this stator to fail um, once it loses its tolerances and just the everyday action of it pumping, it's going to fail eventually in approximately three to five years. This here is a, an impeller out of a centrifugal pump. These are the veins on the bottom. As it spins, um, the wastewater comes into a uh, cast iron volute and remains below the impeller and centrifugal force uh, is used to uh, create the pumping pressure. Uh, these impellers uh, last for years and years. There's really no wear on them. Uh, oh, we probably have 10,000 of these impellers installed in our area and we've probably replaced less than 25 over the course of 40 years. They just simply work. Uh, our average life on these pumps is around 15 years. And I came to talk to them about the new V2 pump because this new pump, we're using it around the lake and it's solving a lot of clogging issues. The new wipes, ropes, you see a lot of poly ropes around the lake uh, get into these things and these, uh, this pump just eats it all alive. So that's why I came to see the city. They, uh, they agreed to let us install one at a local nursing home here. They had gone through approximately six pumps at that nursing home in three years. We installed one at no charge to the city, left it in for six months. We soon discovered after checking it each month that uh, this nursing home was producing about 400,000 gallons of wastewater every month. And this pump was running about 18 hours a day, but it was keeping up with it. After approximately eight months, the village agreed to purchase that pump and allow us to put a second pump in. That second pump now has around 400 hours. The original pump has around 2,200 hours. So these things are running around nine hours each a day, and it's just doing a fantastic job. We haven't had a single service call other than a float switch that got hung up since we put it in last May.